Good morning, Andrew Murray from Apartment Specialist. Today we're talking about traders. Why? Because if you're selling to a trader, that means you're selling your apartment below market's worth. Okay, now, if you look at approximately 1,600 apartments per year in the CBD are being sold, and traders make up or are involved in 10% of those transactions. Now, that's a lot of apartments being undersold. Now don't get me wrong, traders do have their place. They're great when you need an unconditional offer very quickly. And in a situation where an owner needs to say sell in days because they need they have a financial issue or, or they can't pay the, pay the body corporate fees or you know something in that regard. Something happens in their lives which means they need to sell very quickly. But if that's the case, a real estate agent shouldn't be selling it. Because what are you paying us for? What, to just call someone on the phone and go, okay? So if anybody is in that situation, feel free, send me an email, andrew at apartmentspecialists.co.nz or give me a ring on 021-424-892 and I'll put you directly in touch with, a, with, a, with a, uh, a trader and you can deal directly with them because it's not my job. It's not good for my reputation and it's not good for my, for my uh, statistics. Anyway, just talking about how many apartments do get undersold to traders and it's remarkably a lot more than you think. And the thing is, you, you ask, okay, how do these traders get their deals? How are, they, how are they finding out about your apartment? How are they consistently getting or buying apartments underneath market value, doing them up and making them a profit to the point where they can actually, you know, they'll be in the Deloitte's Fast 50, be one of the you know, top companies in, in New Zealand. Well, it's because they get 70%, approximately 70% of their deals through real estate agents. So that's where real estate agents are getting paid to undersell the property. Now yes, in some cases there may be a situation, but in many cases, which it is not. And in my opinion, it's definitely not. I've seen clauses used which imply completely different kind of reasons for these traders buying the properties. One in fact, I, which is used regularly, I see, which is disclosed to the owner, this, this purchaser is suspected to be in trade and is actually selling these apartments overseas in a seminar type fashion or by any other means. I mean it's not that exact wording but that's the gist of it. And so the owner thinks, oh, okay, so the purchaser is going to take this apartment and go and sell it to an overseas buyer in a seminar and rip someone off like was done with Blue Chip and done with all the other, you know, different institutions that sold like that. Um, but that hasn't been done since 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. It's not happening at the moment. Yet, it enables an owner to accept underselling their apartment. When really what's happening is it's going straight to the trader and within a couple of weeks, straight on trade me and dealing with the same retail buyers. Now that just shouldn't happen. And that's why obviously, you know, if anybody needs to get in touch with the tra trader, just get the number off me, you deal with me directly, I don't get paid a cent, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Now, so how can you, as you an owner, can you stop or, or know that you're not dealing with a trader? Okay, what I'd do is I'd go to point number two. Now, what I'm talking about today, traders, that's actually point number two in a guide I put out, which is 10 reasons that I see which are causing owners to unknowingly lose thousands of dollars on their apartment. Now you can download that from apartmentspecialists.co.nz or email me at andrew at apartmentspecialists.co.nz and I'll send it out to you. Now in that number two we're talking about traders is a link that out to a form which you can get whoever's representing you uh, to actually sign a form saying if, okay, you, uh, you've uh, first of all ask the purchaser do they or are they intending to on sell this property for a profit? And secondly, okay, under what name? Because a lot of people you can buy, you can put out any name or nominee, and it could they could nominate it to a trader. Okay, and then and then thirdly, so then that, it has to be declared. So that they've actually asked the purchaser's name because an agent goes, okay, I think they're a trader, but if they don't ask them the question, they think they don't have to declare it. Well, that form is forcing them to ask the question. So you know if you're dealing with a trader, and the reason why it's so important when you compare it to the housing industry compared to the apartment industry is it's so hard for you to know values. I'll give you an example. What I, what I do is how I, how I work is I'll go and look for a building that's undervalued. And what I mean by that is the sales, how they're being sold, 
the methods of sales or that may have been a bit of a history of the building or basically the apartments and what they've been selling for or how the previous people in my industry have been selling them have not been achieving the values that they should be achieving. So I'll go in there and sell them what they, would, what they, what they are actually worth. And that's what a trader does. They go and look for these buildings. They look for these buildings and okay, these are the, 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 the sale prices they're selling for. And go, okay, I know that I can put in an offer that to an owner looks very good because they're going to compare it to the previous sales when really I know it's worth this in this market because this market's moved so much. So it is very, very difficult. So that's why a form like that is very important. And also who you choose as, as an agent is very important, but that's your own individual choice. So obviously that's a you know a normal part of what we do because you know my aim is to get the highest prices for the vendor and the highest prices bring you business. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's like with any industry, you do, do a good job, you get more, get more, you get more business. That's why a lot of mine comes through referrals, through body corporates, through, through building managers, through um, all that kind of thing because that's what I do. It's good for the building. Anyway, so first of all, get a form signed so they have to be declared. And not so if the agent has to declare it, but the agent has to ask the question and then declare it. Because they just, otherwise they will just not ask the, ask the question. Two, get the most up-to-date sales prices you can get and the methods of sale. But then again, that's slightly flawed. Ask for some sales in the most similar building, a comparable building to yours. Now, if you do that, that means, because that's what I'll do, I'll go look at this building and go, okay, the sales values are here. But this one that's virtually very similar, similar kind of area, same kind of buy they're looking for, you know, same, same kind of demographic that would purchase it yet the sales values are lower. So I'm going to go in there and raise it. And that's another one. So I hope this has been helpful. And do down, download that uh, report because there's uh, nine other reasons, one which I'll be covering next week, which is about transparency when talking to an agent about how they're selling your property. Are they letting other agents from other competing agencies try and sell your property? And if they are, are they offering them a fair commission? Because they may say, yes, I let every single agent through. But if, you're only, but the, if your agent is only going to offer them or, or share 10, 20, 30 percent of the commission, why is that other agent from a competing agency going to waste his time? Because at the end of the day, they're doing what we're all doing. It's a job and they're there to make money. Now, I hope this has been helpful and look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you. Bye.